מבדיל בין יום ובין לילה, אדוני צבאות שמות, אל חי וקיים, תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני. ונאמר 
کیف دار و نایت اکوف و گهلو میاد خزاق می میلو مارو خطا دنای گا
It kadar ve it kadar şemey raba Ve almadi ve rahir ute ve amlik malhute Ve hayekon uchomekon Vuchayedeho beyt Yisrael Bagala, bagala Uvisma
This evening would not happen without grace. Grace. It's a fundamental Jewish pillar of perspective and experience. Beloved kindness. Susan, Neil, would you stand up for just a moment? You graciously welcome your Enturion into your home, making it possible for us to enjoy the Confederation, the summertime bash. You're an Enturion. Can you stand for a moment? You graciously drove down, schlepping <laughs> hours and hours during one of the hottest days of recorded history, <laughs> away from your families to be with us, yesterday and tonight. Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen. What did I do now? <laughs> You graciously said services to the Oh, sorry. And you supported the community. <laughs> Thank you. Gabriel, step forward for a minute. Gabriel, you graciously <laughs> connect all of us to a greater sense for months and months during a time of anxiety and fear. Yes, you are. My friend Rabbi Scott Kramer, who tried to slip in, concealed behind the mask and a hat. <laughs> You graciously innovated Alabama Community Virtual Hotel, keeping us all together. Fame is the Hebrew word for grace. And Chain is so important to us as a community, as a society, as a civilization, that we have a number of personal names wherein Chaim plays a prominent role. Hannah, Hannah, Anna, the derivative Amy, the feminine name most significantly associated with Chaim, grace. And for our males, Hanan, Yochanan, 
Elchanan, hi Arnie, Hanan El, we have masculine and feminine names. We name our people Chain, seeking to come close to God's creative, caring love. Can I hear an amen from the heavens above? <laughs> and this is on my mind because of tomorrow's Torah reading named Et Hanan. And Moses is anticipating his death, <coughs> looking on into the future. He is a sprightly 120. And he calls out, seeking immediacy and proximity and closeness, intimacy with God. That's the definition of pain. Immediacy and proximity and intensity and closeness of God's presence. And this is the man who stands on the mountain and he calls out, and God says, I'm with you. This is the man who hears God's voice in a way that, in a way that no other person has ever encountered or experienced God. This is the man who sees the lightning and the thunder before you and I see the lightning and the thunder. And this is the man who is seeking a closeness with God. And he calls and says, by the way, I'm afraid of dying. And God says, you're not going to get your wish for extra years. Because God is not a giant canning machine that dispenses what you and I expect on our terms. That's not the function of Chain seeking closeness and intimacy and presence and grace. But God is present. In the words of a family friend of mine many years ago, almost like my second mom, Ellie Bear, Allah Shalom, blessings of peace upon her memory. She said, there are gets and there are wants in the world. You don't always get what you want. Do you appreciate what you get? And that's on my mind as you and I are striving to contend with struggles and tensions and conflict and fear. And how do you and I, as Jews, respond when the whole world seems to be shaking literally under our feet? And we call out to God, and we expect, because we were taught in Sunday school, that when you speak and you call out to God, God's going to respond, and the heavens are going to be rent asunder, and the oceans and the lakes and the rivers and the streams are going to stand up, and you can walk through dry shot, and animals are going to speak, and you walk into a garden, and every need you possibly could ever anticipate will be met and that's what we taught we, and learned in Sunday school but it doesn't seem to be the case now and so now one moment past God's own time schedule yes it's 3,000 years but in terms of God's time reference it might only be a second maybe we need to recalibrate our understanding of grace, of chen, and take hold of what it really meant in the ancient times, that God was as close as your own conception and your own imagination. God was present, and God calls out, let us all share love and respect for each and every one. That is what chen is. And that is the intimacy and the proximity. And when I'm thinking now of strangers who are willing to open their homes to people they've only met on a computer screen when they drive down from Auburn to Gulf Shores or Mobile and say, come on in, become part of my household for two days, that's an expression of chen. When volunteers come to the shul to arrange the equipment so that people beyond this room can take part, when volunteers come forward to support the ongoing membership of the shul in a variety of ways, that's an expression of chen. When my friend innovates and says, let's come up with a new possibility of connecting people with Havdalah on the internet, 
That's an expression of chen. Every time you and I reach inside ourselves and are motivated to make a difference in the world, whether in small or large scope, we are emulating God's touch of chen, caring, creative love, grace, and kindness. And I want all of us to be sensitive to the power that each one of us bears. You and I can look into our own experience on any daily occasion and realize that we are hearing the voice of God. Not like a titanic, booming voice across a mountain. And we're not experiencing God necessarily because rivers have split apart and we walk through and our feet are dry. But when you and I can realize that with the momentary expression of kindness and grace for another human being whom we know or whom we don't know, we have taken hold of one of the greatest powers of God in our own experience. And that's bringing chen, grace, into the world. So let's recalibrate our minds and understand our own capacity for hearing God's voice, acting on God's voice, and bringing God's voice into the world. And we see that with all that every single one of us shares and provides. May we open our imagination and our ears to what we already possess. May we take hold of God's grace in our lives. Chavez. And now the layman, praising God, on page number 56 through 1. Ah,
Hebrews Kaddish and those who are reciting Kaddish are invited to remain standing. Kaddish is on page number 58. And on this Shabbat we remember with great love Florence Cohen, J. Max Maisel, Albert Reiner, Lillian Rudnick, Kayla Zarimba, Ken Lubell, Evelyn Jacoby, Lawrence Siff, Morris Layden, Dr. William Levy, Myra Buckman, Dr. Murray Muchnick, Rebecca Loeb, Rose Kramer, Larry Hirsch, Rachel R. Luderman, Harry Hamanoff, No Lipkin, Henry Gutlow. Are there any other names to mention this evening? Paul Buxton. Paul Buxton. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabah. Amen. Be'olma divra chirute, be'amlich machute, b'chaye echon, b'yom echon, b'chaye dechol, b'et Yisrael, b'agala u'vizaman kariv imaru. Amen. Yehe shmei rabo mevorach la'olam ololme olmaya. Yit borach, b'yish tabach, b'yit pa'ar, b'yit romam, b'yit naseh. Bit Hadar, Bit Ale, Bit Alal, Shmed Kurisha, Rehu, Leela, mean Kol Berhata, Vishirata, Tushbehata, Vene, Hemata, Dami Ranba, Oma, Vimaru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Min Shemaya, Vechayim, Olenu, Yal Kol Yisrael. Bimaru, Amen. O se shalom bimramav, who ya se shalom alenu, yal kol Yisrael, bimaru, Amen. Just a few reminders, and we will nearly conclude with Kiddush and Amoti in the back of the room and a chance to visit for a little bit. Of course, that will be tomorrow morning here in person, if vaccinated, and also on YouTube from 10 to about 11.30. And tomorrow night, Abdullah on Zoom. And those of you who hopefully uh, are interested and have already made arrangements and found the uh, the login and the password is in the email that we sent out. Monday, cannot study on Zoom for 12 to 1. Call the office for the password or contact me. Tuesday, adult Hebrew class, 3 to 3 30 on Zoom. And the spirit meditation kind of uh, discussion, 5 to 5 30 on Zoom. The topic for Tuesday's discussion with the spirit is expressing your gratitude of others. We'll see. That's Tuesday's Spirit Zoom. Wednesday, the unveiling for Harry Rips Towers the Shul Cemetery at 10 a.m. And I think that's it for right now. So we'll be making Kiddush and Amosi in a moment, but first, we're going to conclude with a special melody of Jose Shalom by Alana Jagoda. I should point out also that on the basis of I see people in the field because I think of
other people and children know them. Um, so Peter Brackens are here. So please say hello for Peter and Mosley. And Olivia, wave Olivia. Okay. Have to go up and say hi to somebody you don't know during the Kiddush Shalotia and Shmooze time. And again, Rabbi Scott Kramer, can you can you doff your yarmulke or your hat or your mask so people see Rabbi <laughs> with Rabbi Scott Kramer? Um, so um, it's been just a, a delight becoming acquainted with getting to know friends, Turiya and Miriam, over the past year plus. Um, in spite of COVID, friendship emerges. Mm. And we can look for Braho, blessings in unanticipated experiences. So this is all session on the tradition. Do you want to talk for just a moment about this piece? Or? Um, it's by, as the rabbi mentioned, uh, Ilana Jagoda. It's a very upbeat song. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's much more to say. I think. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. You may be confusing her with Flory Jagoda. Oh, yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> we hope you'll sing along. It's catchy. <laughs> Thank 
some other point, perhaps tomorrow during services here, or maybe with Zoom. Top dollar, that is tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Until we see each other again, Leach Road and Shabbat Shalom. You are a blessing to all of us. Good Shabbos.